author of Surviving AI. It's all about a book all about the future of artificial intelligence. Hi, Callum. Hi, Guy. Hi. Now, how close are we to AI devices in the home using voice recognition like this? So you can walk around talking and it will do stuff for you. We're getting close. We're not there yet. And so it's interesting that Zuckerberg has set, set himself the target of pushing us a bit closer. Uh, but the, the, the progress in artificial intelligence technology is very fast. It's, uh, it's increasing exponentially. And we are getting very close. So how, how far in the future or how near in the future do you think that could be? I think I, I wouldn't want to bet against a man as successful as Zuckerberg anyway, but I think that his goal of uh, producing something, a basic version of Jarvis by the end of the year, is, is entirely plausible. Um, Baidu, which is often seen as the Chinese Google, announced that its speech recognition system had got better than humans recognizing speech in certain uh, out-of-context situations with short phrases. So we are at a kind of tipping point. OK, now several people, including the Tesla founder, Elon Musk, um, they've said that development of AI could one day threaten the human race. Um, now, Mark Zuckerberg says that's far-fetched. Far -fetched. What do you think? Oh, well, I think Musk is right, but it's important to remember that Musk said that uh, artificial intelligence could be very, very good. In fact, the, the, the default option is that it is very good, but it, could be, it, it does carry great risks, and we need to make sure we don't end up in a bad situation with it. What are the and risks? It, well, in the, in the medium term, the risks are that... Uh, many, if not most, jobs that humans do are done by computers and we don't figure out an economic system that allows us to carry on eating and living. Uh, that's the sort of medium-term risk, probably 25, 30 years away, perhaps. The longer-term risk, which is what Musk was referring to, is the possibility of us building a superintelligence, so a machine which is smarter than humans in every way, and that superintelligence has goals which don't suit us very well. Um, that's the, that's the longer-term risk. That's quite a few decades away. We've got time to make sure it doesn't happen, and there are people working on that problem. Um, there seems to, though, be some confusion. Callum, hi, it's Nihal here. Um, hi, Nihal. What AI actually is. I was discussing this with a, a professor uh, last night on the, on the hit list on Five Live, um, and his thoughts on what AI were were different than, say, Stephen Hawkins, who has also criticised the idea and posed the kind of dangers that artificial intelligence... What Zuckerberg is wanting is essentially a glorified slave, isn't it? I mean, that's not artificial intelligence. That's you just tell him to do something and it does it. A slave is necessarily uh, a person who's conscious and wouldn't want to do the things that you're telling it to do. OK, a, a, a to robotic do. butler then, I guess. Yeah, a robotic butler. Well, uh, all of these systems well, are you're not paying. By, you're not paying. Yeah. They're, they're powered by artificial intelligence. But it is, it is slightly confusing because AI isn't just one thing. It is a collection of different uh, techniques, technologies and skills. And, of course, so is our intelligence. So is human intelligence. You know, we're all good at different things. We all have different skills. And our overall intelligence is a collection of them. So, so is AI. It's the same thing. OK, thank you very much indeed, Callum. Well, what if it, the big worry for me would be if you end up with one like Hal from Space <laughs> yeah. Odyssey. You know. None of us want that, do we? I know we don't. In fairness, that could no. too easily happen. We've got enough moment. humans running around doing <laughs> that. We don't need any robots doing that, do we? Guy, thank you very much indeed for that. Guy Kilty there from Five Live.